There he goes. Got him. Ooh, that feels like a pretty good crop. <laughs> hey, I'm John Thielen, host of Lindy's Fish Head Television. We're all doing some crappie fishing today, and I think one of my favorite ways to fish is the way we're doing it today, using a float. These are pre-spawn crappies. You can see how black they are. Look at that, that's a nine inch male getting ready to go in there and spawn. But man, I'll tell you what, float fishing to me is one of my favorite ways to fish because I get to see the bite. I, I think it's really cool to be able to see the bite. But secondly, what I'm doing today, if I wasn't float fishing, I wouldn't be catching these fish because they're all skittery. They're up shallow on a hump. I'm gonna throw that guy back. They're up shallow over here on a hump. And, and here's the thing, when I take the boat over the top of them, they spook, they're gone. So there's no way that I'm gonna catch these fish without being able to cast to them, put a bait right in front of them and give them the opportunity to see it. And the whole key to doing that today is this. I'm using the Thill Wobble Bobber. Here's what's really cool about the Thill Wobble Bobber. It comes in a whole variety of sizes. So whether you're crappie fishing like I am today using this 16th ounce or walleye fishing, whatever it may be, there's a size and a shape that works for you. It's got an egg-shaped design, so it gets a little extra bounce back and forth every time it hits a wave, and that puts a little bit of that action down there on that little nipper today, or that Lindy jig, whatever it may be, if you're fishing walleyes. But here's the big thing about the wobble bobber. It does not have a stem, okay? So up in the top, you got a brass grommet, and in the bottom, you got a brass grommet. That makes the line zip through there. I mean, it flies through there when it hits the water. But most importantly, for a day like today, or a lot of times when I'm walleye fishing, or if you're shore fishing, because of its design and its weight distribution, you can cast this thing a mile. So what I'm actually doing today is I'm staying way out off of these fish, and I'm able to take this wobble bobber, fire this in there, and get to those fish, and I'm catching them one after another. If I wasn't able to cast a long ways, there's no way I'd catch these fish today, but because of this, this balsa fill wobble bobber, I can do that. Speaking of that balsa, a couple things about it. The finest balsa made, that's what makes fill what it really is. You can detect and see every single bite and those fish don't feel it. And lastly, fill floats are all made right here in the USA. Look for them at your favorite retailer. You wanna catch more fish, pick up a few wobble bobbers, get a little further away from those fish and cast to them. I'll tell you what, it's a deadly tactic.